Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly. Well, let's see what Rob the Throb has to say. Her and her lies. And will Gizzard give us any information about her life because she was supposedly humping on some ha some man in Summer House? And I'm sorry, but them men way too young for you and your necks. I can count the rings on your necks and know they could be your children. You are a smooth 57 years old. Why are you playing in a playpen? Get out of daycare. Stop trying to date in daycare, Jizzy. Ain't nobody interested. So we open with Rob the Throb taking the lead, and she's whining she didn't get any snow days this year. Talking about, oh, you could make some hot chocolate or chili. Girl, you know all you would do is stay in bed and order your kids Chick-fil-A. Heffa please, like you'd stand up and cook chili with your lazy self. Girl, why are you whining about a snowstorm starting Sunday night being home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Every day for you is a weekend. You ain't filming now, and Juan don't even sleep at your house. Girl, boom. Oh, oh I know they ain't. So Rob's shady moment involves Coppin State, where Juan's coaches were Coppin Fields. And Juan apparently wanted his team to do amazing. Well, maybe if you protected them from sexual harassment, they'd be doing a lot better. But when people are thrown off the team because their assistant coach conned them into sex, I can understand why the team could have their thoughts elsewhere and their eyes not on the ball. Oh, God. So Rob gets home with the kids after the game. And of course, Juan's not home yet or ever. He don't live there. You abandon me. Love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. <laughs> Without Juan there who's paying bills in the household, that's Real Housewives of Potomac and Capcoin, the castle of Capcoin. Y'all are not going to believe this. I, I cannot wait until we get to the actual shady moment. But apparently, someone rang Rob's doorbell since they knew her roommate wasn't home. And this guy... Uh, said he was on a motorcycle, stranded because his phone died and he was on his way to his friend's house using the GPS. And so he needed a charger. And he saw the lights on in her house and just took a chance. So she gone drop one out to him, tells him to step away from the door because, you know, she got a ring camera. And Carter goes to grab a butcher knife, one of her sons. The other son goes to call the pappy, and she says, no, don't call Juan, he'd say no. But Juan, I'm sorry, the, the original Good Samaritan who'll run down to a hotel and throw his card down? Oh, no, Juan would say yes. Juan would probably rush home from his mistresses to give this guy a charger because he's such a Good Samaritan. I mean, my goodness, this family, they are just the do-gooders of the DMV. So that was reasonably stupid. That wasn't a scary moment, Rob. That was a stupid moment. With your kids at home, you just... Simple Simon, Metapyman. You are simple Simon. You're simple. You're just simple. You're not even stupid. You're simple. Ooh. I have Asperger's. I'm not that gullible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Liam! Liam, I cannot with you. <laughs> oh, God. What? So Jizzy apparently used to go to New York to bus it wide. And now they don't have those late trains so she can't sneak back. The last train out of New York is at 7, so she's got a huzzy in the day. So now they get to talking about the Ryuyu. It takes them four hours to get into glam, and y'all still look like that. It takes you four hours to look like that, to give us femininity. So the room was super cold because they've got camera equipment. The room is cold every year, duh. It was so cold in there, they had to put hand warmers up they coochie. And some of y'all, that's the most action your coochies have seen. 
So Rob and Jizzy didn't get to take their photos of what they were wearing to the reunion until after it had shot and they were mad about it. The person running it did that on purpose because they wanted to show you for just how tired a heifer you is. Rob said, I got one pose for you and a smirk. That's the same shit you've had for seven years. Don't act like, oh, I was tired. They caught me off guard. That's who you is. There's a scandal rewatch podcast. Chow! You know what? I'm glad we at least rewatch an old show. Let me get back into the reruns of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I guess that really just goes to show ain't shit on. What? <clears throat> Jizzy, I know you are not shaming A.B. Robach talking about how you get him is how you lose him. How'd you get Jamal? How did you get Jamal? Go and say I can't believe she didn't know he was sleeping with other women. You didn't know your man was sleeping with other women. Or did you just allow it? Throwing a big rock from your glass house. Rob says that Nick Cannon seemed very off in his latest interview. Like your lies seemed off about your husband's mistress and him just going to the hotel to uh, throw his car down because she lost her wallet because he had because she had flown here to see a Ravens player who apparently didn't show up for her because she had to call Juan for a hotel and not the man she came to screw. Like, off like that? Like, that kind of lie off? Okay. Why are they talking about Carisha or Young Mommy pissing on Diddy? Don't nobody want to talk about that. We too old. They really going on about this piss. They ain't got none in a while. Girl, Jizzy gonna say to Rob, what if Juan came home and said, first off, Juan would have to come home. Is Juan coming? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Is the pissing in vain? <laughs> However, it's time for the gizzard to stick her neck in the love life of a lady 35 years her junior. She thinks that Lori Harvey likes Michael B. Jordan more than the current man she's dating. Honey, she was his beard. That was all about full free press and promomo. Michael B. Jordan liking a woman for real? Honey, his acting skills aren't even that good. Ain't nobody buying that. Do we call her a gold digger? Do we call her a clout chaser? You call her younger and prettier than you. You call her a woman in her prime because you are women past their prime. You call her a woman with opportunities you never had. That's what you call her. You call her the woman who's living the life you wish you could have. That's what you call her. And the rest of the show was an absolute snore, but I will see you soon for Housewives of Miami. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly, allegedly.